$1,000 for this. What is up everyone? Welcome back to my channel. I hope you guys are doing well today. For today's video, I think I have spent the most amount of money I have ever spent on one video. As you guys can tell by the title, today's video is all about trying the new Kim Kardashian X Dolce & Gabbana collab. And let me tell you, it was not cheap. I spent £4,500 on this video. My bank account is screaming right now. You guys know I love trying out anything to do with the Kardashians. I feel like it it always does really well on my channel and you guys enjoy it so I just had to I just had to do this if you guys are new here and you guys haven't seen my face before hi I'm Roxy welcome to my channel if you want to stick around be sure to subscribe down below but if you guys want to see what I spend that amount of money on then without further ado let's get into it okay so first things first let's go on the Dolce & Gabbana website and just have a look and have a little browse through the collection because some of these pieces are wild okay so here is the collection here is kind of like a quick overview of the kind of pieces you can expect and I feel like they are very very Kim we've got the leopard we've got neutral colors very simplistic we also have a few like really out there pieces I mean look at this choker necklace that's $1,325 and it literally says the word Kim I mean why would anyone buy this unless their name was Kim like I cannot imagine myself wearing that on my neck so that's definitely very extra that's just like a little taste into what is to be expected we then have a couple of really cute things. We have this little play suit which I am really really liking. It's $1,559. It is really cute and they styled it with like a skirt over the top. Okay. This is definitely very very Kim. Look at these leggings. They are crazy. They're like a lace and satin leggings but like the crotch is very weird. It's just giving nappy vibes. Ooh look at this. <gasps> This is 7,645 pounds, but look at all the butterflies. I'm obsessed. I have no idea where I would wear something like this too, but I like it. Ooh, this is giving very Wednesday Adams. Okay, 3,295 pounds. I will have to sell a kidney to get one of these dresses. Now for tax and shipping reasons, I didn't actually end up buying anything from the Dolce Gabbana website like directly. I actually went to Harrods just because Harrods is UK based and I know that, you know, everything is actually gonna arrive. So when I started browsing through the Harrods website, I quickly noticed that all of the items were there, same as the Dolce Gabbana website. However, there was a couple of extra items sprinkled in there. These were not on the Dolce Gabbana website. I mean, take this first dress for example, it is stunning. It's a crystal mesh dress. It's very beautiful, but it's I don't I can't even say the price. It's 60,000. It is 60,000 pounds. I cannot understand how clothes can be this expensive. I mean, I know it's made of crystals. I get that. But 60K, come on. That can almost pay for a house. Like that's ridiculous. It's just so strange to me because some of the collection pieces are like, you know, a thousand, maybe even under a thousand. And then in the midst of that, we have like these really expensive dresses. I mean, here's another one, 45 grand for an embellished lace up mini dress. I mean, that price is just not okay. I just wanna know like for real, who is buying a dress for 60K? from a Kim Kardashian collection. Anyways, clearly I cannot afford a dress for like 40K or 60K. So I ended up picking the more affordable pieces of the collection, even though these were still hella expensive. So here they are in this box. This is the most expensive box I have ever held in my hands. Oh my gosh, okay, here it is and everything inside. No, I only picked up three separate pieces because my bank account would not allow for any more. The first item we have is this right here and here is the photo of the item on the website this is the Dolce and Gabbana Marquisette bodysuit this was $1,595 it is a ridiculous amount of money for a bodysuit I'm just gonna put this out there I know that everything in this video is totally overpriced and I am not one to like buy into designer things like I don't ever really care for designer things I feel like it's honestly a waste 
waste of money most of the time. But when I saw that Kim collaborated with them, I honestly just it felt like I had to try it. This is my first ever item that I've purchased from Dolce & Gabbana like ever in my whole life, I think. So I don't have like an idea of what the quality should be like. I can only imagine that for this kind of money, it should be pretty good. So here is the bodysuit and what it looks like. It is very, very sheer, as you can see. It actually has really, really stunning detail, like the lace and everything about it is really cute. I absolutely love the color. I hope that it's gonna be nicely fitted. It actually has boning on the sides as well as like the front and back of the whole bodysuit. So hopefully it's gonna give you that snatched kind of figure. It also has a zipper on the back here. The straps on this are indeed adjustable, so that's really good. And yeah, that is the whole thing. Over $1,000 for this. Honestly, I cannot fathom like why this would cost so much, but let's go try it on and see if the fit is worth the money. All right, guys, so here is the first item and what it looks like on. I did have to put some neutral shorts underneath this just because it is completely see-through. As you can see though, it does literally fit like a glove. It is so nicely fitted to my body. It feels very structural. And I'm not 100% sure if this is just to be worn like this on its own. Maybe like you could dress it up with something over the top, but I'm pretty sure this is an undergarment. Like it literally looks like something you should be wearing under your clothes. I know that on the runway, anything goes, but to be honest, I cannot imagine wearing something like this outside. Like why? <laughs> I literally feel naked naked in this and I literally spent 2,000 pounds to feel like that. That is an absolute ripoff, especially when I am born in my birthday suit, which is completely free. Honestly though, I feel like this as an undergarment is very good. Like the boning and everything is really keeping me tucked in. I feel very supported. The cups are really nicely fitted as well. Even though there's no like padding or anything, I feel very supported in this area too. This is what it looks like from the back as well. I mean, yeah, I honestly just don't understand what this item is for. But all I'm gonna say is I would definitely never wear this out on its own. I would totally wear something underneath, but then that kind of just defeats the point of it. Like you're paying $2,000 or however much this was, for it to be seen, right? Like you don't wanna be wearing this underneath stuff. So yeah, I'm not too sure about this one. I mean, it's stunning. It is really nicely fitted to my body. It's very snatching, but it's just not practical, like at all. So yeah, this is definitely a massive waste of money, but let me know what you guys think. Cause I feel like, yeah, it does look good, but where am I wearing this to? Okay, moving on to the next item. We're gonna be trying out this one right here. And I mean, is this not so Kim? It is extra, it's leopard print. It's a whole ass bodysuit. It's actually giving the same vibes as the Kylie Jenner outfit in the uh, Cardi B music video. Do you guys remember that? Looking on the website, this cost $2,595, which is kind of ridiculous, especially when you realize how small it is. This is the package of how it has arrived. It literally feels like there's nothing inside. Where is my $2,000, huh? Is this it? Are you in here? This is what $2,500 looks like, you guys. So here it is. This is what the jumpsuit looks like. I actually did not expect that this would be the fabric it's made out of. I probably should have checked the details on the website, but this is literally made of like, the most sheer fabric I've ever seen. Like it's literally see-through. I don't know why, but on the website, when I saw the photo, it kind of looked like it was made of like a really chunky kind of velour fabric. Like that's what I was expecting in my head. But this is literally like the most sheer chiffon kind of fabric that I've ever seen in my life. It has this little label on the sleeve, which is interesting. But apart from that, it's literally just a turtleneck bodysuit. Like there's nothing to it. It is completely see-through. It's pretty much the same fabric all across it. So honestly, I'm a little bit disappointed, I have to say. But I guess let's go try it on and see how it fits. All right, okay, I take it all back. This is stunning. I'm sorry, look at this fit. It is so snatched, I was not expecting it. It's actually so snatched in the waist, even on the back. Can you guys see how like body adhering that is? There's like no saggy fabric in the back here. It's also snatched, even though there's literally like no pull to this fabric, it's not stretchy at all. This really does feel like my second skin. I feel like I am ready to join the Cheetah Girls. Oh my God. Side note, but Cheetah Girls was literally my obsession when I was younger and I always loved their little like leopard print outfits. So if I was part of 
the Cheetah Girls group now. I honestly feel like I would totally wear something like this. Now you guys know me, I just do not wear like pattern or animal print or anything like that. I actually don't really like it personally, but there is something about this item that's actually really making me like it. Even though I love this and I love the fit of it, I still would never wear this out. Like I cannot imagine wearing something like this around my local area. Everyone would just stare at me. Let me know what you guys think of this outfit. I mean, it is so freaking extra, but I love it. I'm literally gonna give this like a nine out of 10, just not the price. The price is not a nine out of 10. And now moving on to the very last item from this collection that I picked up. We have this one right here. This was actually my most favorite item from the whole collection. I did see Kim wearing it on like the banner on the Dolce & Gabbana website. And I'm glad that it wasn't like really expensive. I mean, it was expensive, but compared to like the 60K dresses, this was affordable. The only problem is, it looks kind of big, doesn't it? I mean, let's open it up from this packet and see what it is. So here it is. I mean, it's definitely looking quite wide, even though I definitely got this in a size small. I'm gonna be a little bit disappointed if this doesn't fit correctly because this literally was my favorite item. Anyway, in terms of quality, it actually doesn't look much different to like your typical pretty little thing dress. I mean, yeah, it's thicker, but honestly, I feel like you're literally just paying for the label. The Dolce & Gabbana X Kim label is inside here. It does have a zipper on the back as well, so you can easily get in. But yeah, I mean, visually, it doesn't look that amazing. It looked great on Kim, but now that I have it in my hands, I feel like it's definitely not worth the money. I feel like I have definitely tried on a similar dress like this before, and it was from like an affordable shop that's, you know, accessible to everybody. So this dress was 1,600 pounds. I'm not too sure in dollars, but yeah, that is definitely very expensive for a dress like this. And I just don't think it's worth it. But anyways, let's go try this dress on and see what it looks like. Okay, I have no idea what happened here. Like, why is this so big on me? I swear I've ordered my size. So I don't know why they sent me this. Like the cups are literally the size of my head. I do not have the boobs to fill this out. I mean, I can tell this would have been a really nice dress but yeah it's just the fact that it doesn't fit I mean it should have looked like this it should have been completely snatched and the cups just definitely need to be a lot smaller because I am not blessed in this department so yeah that is a little bit of a shame because this actually feels very nice like the fabric that this is made out of is gorgeous I still stand by what I said though this definitely is not worth the kind of money that this was because it literally is just a white satin kind of look dress. I mean, this probably is real satin though, so it kind of does make sense why it's so expensive. But visually, I would not be able to tell the difference whether this was real satin or not. I will say that this does have really nice boning stitched inside this dress on the front as well as the back. So if this was actually my size, it would have been really nice and shaping. But yeah, all in all, I am a little bit disappointed that they sent me the wrong size because this is not it. All right, guys, so those are all of the items I'm gonna be trying out from the Kim Kardashian ex Dolce & Gabbana collab. Honestly, I feel so disappointed actually. I was really expecting some amazing quality items that I would love, but for 4,500 pounds, I was greatly disappointed. Let me know what you guys think of these types of collabs. Do you think they work or do you think it's just a money grab? As nice as these items looked on the website, I honestly cannot imagine anybody actually wearing these on a day-to-day -day basis, like regular people that aren't celebrities. So you do kind of have to ask, who are these collabs? actually tailored for because it's not regular people like us clearly I really hope you guys enjoyed this slightly different kind of video god knows I spent way too much money on this one so I really hope you guys enjoyed it but that is all from me thank you guys so much for watching and hopefully I'll see you guys in my next one bye